Well, hello everybody. This is a Saturday afternoon version of Cast to the Right Side. We have been having two, yeah, two full days of rain here in the local area. So I have, I'm staying in the house instead of going outside. It, the uh, temperature has dropped off. I think the last video I made, which was on Wednesday, it was around 80 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful day. They predicted some rain would come and the rain is here. It's been raining almost all day today. We're really blessed. I'm looking out the window in my office <coughs> and I can see my backyard rain gauge and it, it looks like it's up over three inches of rain. So we're just thanking God for the rain because, uh, as you know, if you follow this broadcast of Cast to the Right Side, we've been praying and asking for rain. We've been praying and asking, and we are receiving. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse the cough. But I wanted to talk to you today and share with you today something really exciting in my life. In my life, I know, and I pray that it will be something that will be a blessing to you. And I say exciting in my life because the other morning, before I woke up, I had like an impartation of this, Second Peter 1.13. 2 Peter 1, 13. And I kept hearing that over and over and over again. And the only thing I know is when you hear something like that, is God is trying to get your attention to go and look at something in Scripture because he wants to show you something. So if you've ever had that experience, and I hope you have, my goodness, don't back off from it. Go see what God wants to show you in his word. Now, let me read to you what the revelation was to me. I was fairly familiar with a lot of scripture in First and Second Peter. But this one I really uh, kind of overlooked. I guess I have to put it that way. But this is... This is what it said in the exact birth. This is 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. And it says this in my Bible. Yes, I think it is right as long as I am in this tent to stir you up by reminding you. Now, the euphemism of in this tent basically means a physical body, something that, that we are covered with. So I've got my tent, you've got your tent. My tent might be a little bit bigger than some of yours, but and maybe some of yours are bigger than mine. But we all have a tent that God has given us. Now, <clears throat> I had to go and look at that several times. I looked at several other uh, verses that went, you know, kind of tied to it. And I then backed up. I always do this, and I hope you do the same thing. I backed up then to 2 Peter 1.12. And this was a clarifying statement. For this reason, I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though you know and are established in the present truth. Now, Peter is writing this epistle to several different churches that he had visited, had discipled, had had evangelistic crusades, probably even uh, seen people healed through his ministry. But at this time, he also recognizes it's getting close to the time where the words of Jesus says, you're, you're going to be uh, taken away. 
In other words, he was going to be killed. He was going to be killed. And he was crucified, and he has to be crucified upside down because he felt he was not worthy to be crucified the same way Jesus was. But here's what I'm trying to get across to you. This is a ministry. This is my ministry that I'm sharing from, that I believe God has given me the simple requirement to be obedient to his word and to share his word and his thoughts with people who will watch on this YouTube channel, uh, on Facebook, uh, in churches that I might be visiting. But I'm going to stick to this. We are in a time where all people, Christians and non-Christians, must be prepared. If you're a Christian, you've got to be prepared for what's coming and understanding what's coming. And according to the word of God, we are in a time of much deception. And those are words that indicate that there is a time coming where we will see the end of times coming. Spoken for the church, for church members, those who have called upon Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and have served him and followed after him. A calling up, a calling up, sometimes called the rapture. And there's a lot of debate. I'm not going to get into the debate. We'll discuss some of this as we go along. But I'm going to be faithful to what the Lord has asked me to do. And here's what he's asked me to do. To go through both the first epistle of Peter and the second epistle to Peter. Because, because they are tied to the prophetic words that I have just spoken to you about. About the future of the church and the future of all Christians and the future of all those who have not called or will not call by their choice upon the name of God to call out and to be saved by their faith in Jesus Christ that's where we are. My responsibility is to share the gospel, the good news that comes by Jesus Christ. And I've said it again and again. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way to the Father, Father God, except through him. There is no other way. You can make up ways you want. But according to God's word, there is no other way. <clears throat> and I'm going to share those truths until I, in my tent, until my tent is closed up. Whether it's closed up and I wait in my assigned place, in my grave, or whether I'm looking forward to it of being raised up during the rapture of the church. So I'm just giving you that as, I guess, a premium look at what I'm going to be sharing. Now, these are two not large books. Uh, First Peter has five chapters. And Second Peter has, let me see, three, four three chapters, but they are extremely important for the times that we are in now. So I want to share words of preparation that you can grab a hold of. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know whether I will do this 
broadcast from the standpoint of talking about First and Second Peter once a week, three days a week? I'm not sure. I'm asking the Lord, how do you want me to get this across? Because I want you to be aware of what's going on and have the best information available. And I'm gathering information not just from my own knowledge and understanding, but for also from the inputs of others that I follow closely and trust in very much in sharing the true truth of God's word. Now, let me leave you with this prayer today. Father, it breaks my heart to see that the enemy has so distracted so many people into foolish ideas and ways of thinking, and they've been overcome by people who try to put them down and put them into a negative understanding of who they are and who it is that has created them. Lord, we know that you have a plan for each one of us. It's a realized truth that we have you to look forward to on a day-by-day -day basis. Lord, give each person that listens to this message a true hunger to know your word, to know your truth, to know and understand what you would have them to do in their life as they are being prepared for the days ahead. You have given life to each person. You have made them your special person from the time that they were born. You knew them. They were formed in your image. And you want to bless them. So, Lord, I'm just saying right now, take each one of the people who watch these videos, casting to the right side. That's what Jesus told his disciples, the fishermen. Peter told Peter to do, cast to the right side, so you'll catch a great harvest of fish. So, Lord, I'm praying that I will continue with that as I share the word of God, as I share the concept of casting over to the side where the great blessings are. I thank you for having those blessings for us. And I pray that each person will drag in their net and see a great blessing today and tomorrow. And would they share that, that blessing with their family and their friends? And I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for the rain we've received. I thank you for the faithfulness of all who come and watch. I'm going fishing 21-3 or cast to the right side. So to each one of you, I look forward to seeing you next week. I don't know what the forecast is. I think we're supposed to have some more rain over the next couple days. So it might be an inside job or it might be an outside beautiful day down at the lake. So God bless you all. Know this, that God loves you and so do I. And we will see you next week.